All right, guys, this is part three of fishing underneath that bridge with different baits and different techniques. But today, what we're going to use underneath that bridge is the custom leech. It's a three inch long watermelon colors. And it says, I don't know if you can see that on camera. It says it's recommended for drop shotting. So what we got is we got the leech here, the little hook on it and then down to one, a quarter ounce uh, weight, drop shot weight. Hopefully, we'll catch a lot. I mean, it looks good, especially for that for the small mouth bass. I mean, looks like it'll slay them, but see you at the river. Alrighty, guys. We are down at the bridge. Got the custom leech on, drop shotted. Try and catch some fish. First cast. There we go, guys. There's a fish. First one. On that custom leech, and we still got the leech. <laughs> it's not very big, but it's the first one of the day, so. Wish we could get some bigger ones underneath this bridge. I used, you can usually pull out, you know, 17 inches every now and then, but. There's another one, very next cast. Big fish, big fish guys, big smallmouth, big smallmouth. Dad, dad, big one, big one. Guys, that's a keeper. Oh my gosh, it hit right over by that pillar and he's on. Man, he felt way bigger than that. But man, that was the very next cast, guys. My dad's across there, so I was yelling at him, but uh... About a 14 and a half inch fish. Ah, uh, he's getting close to 15. Oh, there we go, guys. So the leech can catch decent sized fish. That's the, you know, that's the first decent one. Last video, I, I was using a, what's called a um, lawn goby. And I didn't really catch m many big ones. I caught some fish, not many big ones. This time, we catch a big fish right off the bat. Let's see if we can get another one here. Another fish, guys. This one feels giant. Dad, another big one. Same spot. Big. Haven't seen him. Haven't seen him yet. This one's bigger. Oh yeah. Yeah, my that one thing. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. 16 inch 16 guys my dad can't hear me with the crap that's a tank there no he just got off there he goes he just got off right next to me guys this thing is doing the trick now look this time three fish on that thing and it's finally heads gone I'm gonna read it put another one on thing that's good about these things is they do float so that's the good thing we're gonna we have a good amount left here now I did realize these things don't break off as easy as some baits some 
some baits came up, come off literally after every single fish you know this one's not like that it's kind of nice guys right there that was a good 16 inch fish probably maybe 16 and a half that was a tank that thing just loaded on that that little custom leech all right let's go again no way there's more out there There's another one. I think it's another tank. They are stacked along there. Oh my, yeah. nice one, guys. Oh, another one! Yep. No way. Same spot. There's no way. Yeah. Yet? Oh, another keeper. Fourteen and a half. Oh, 15, he's close to fifteen. Guys, he's probably a fifteen inch. Man, that's awesome. My dad's got one. Guys, check this out. Let's go again. There it goes. No way we catch another fish. There's one. Another one. Nice one again. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, guys, I think this is the best lure we've had yet. He's not, he's gonna be not a keeper, but he's close. Oh my! Huh, uh. Another close to 15. Close to 15. Guys, this is freaking insane. There we go. This is definitely the best bait we've had yet. Better than the Ned, better than the Lawn Gobi. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use these tournament in tournament fishing it looks like. Um, all right, we're gonna try it way out in the middle this time. Sometimes it, it triggers a lot of bites. Well, it doesn't trigger, but it, there's a lot of fish hanging out in the middle. Now, they're generally not as big. But that doesn't mean that there's not big ones out there. Guys, I just cannot believe that. I think it was like three straight casts on camera. I caught a fish and then I turned off the camera. And then I caught another and then I turned it back on. It was four straight casts. I had a fish. That's freaking crazy, man. And I knew there's a log out there. I should have known. Come on. Well might be the end of the drop shot yep no it's not but guys the thing so what i'm using here is what it's what's called a mosquito hook and it broke off as you can see but i know you'd say don't use a small tiny hook like that it triggers more bites i like guaranteed so that's why i always use um small hooks like that um, and it, generally it hooks them good. I mean, I landed, you know, I only lost one. Of course, it's the biggest one, but I've caught some uh, five-pound smallmouth on it, so. Just watch this. It's going to be over. We're going to catch one right now. A fish just jumped right out here. That's going to be a fish. Yep, there he is. Now, they're never big out there, but, oh, he just got off right away he, he loaded on it i seen him jump out there and kind of was no hesitation for that fish but let's try and catch another one out there kind of just all you do is just there he is oh he, he bit it 
I don't really uh twitch it. It says wobble it. I haven't been. All all I do is just feel. All of a sudden you'll just feel, and it'll kind of get loose, or sometimes it'll get tight, and you know you got a fish. Every time that happens. So. There we go, that's a better cast. Maybe. There he is. There's number six on the day. Number six. Guys, look, so anyways, it does hook them pretty good, like right on the bottom of the mouth, and that barb got them. And guys, even if you're not catching, you know, huge fish, it's still fun. If you're just going to catch any fish, this leech, honestly, you could probably even catch like, you know, bluegill and stuff, some big bluegill, pan fishing on beds, like, because it is um, pretty, like, small. But yeah. All right, let's try it a little bit farther out that way. There's one. Oh, he got off. Man, there's a lot of fish underneath here. There's one. There we go. It's number seven. Little dude. There he goes. Quick little release. I touched him. So we'll count it. All right, so it's a few days later now. Um, Guys, definitely that leech caught way more uh, bigger fish than any of the like Ned rigs and the long goby net bait that I was using in a part one and part two. Uh, anyways, that was a good bait to use. Leave me a comment down below what other baits I should use. Uh, next one will probably be a tube, I had to guess, but hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.